So here we have a typical Yamaha upright uh, piano, and we're going to take a look at what's on the inside of it. So here's our piano, and we're going to open up this lid up top here and see what's going on inside. So open it up. Don't mind the wires. That's just a microphone. Not all pianos come with that. Um, here we have the inside of a piano. We got all kinds of things going on here. So what do we have? Well, the most obvious thing here is we got strings. We have all of these strings. You notice the very low strings uh, down at the bottom of the piano. They only have got one string, but that's because they're so thick, uh, they don't need a bunch. When we get a little bit further up, they have two strings. Um, they're a little bit thinner. Then the further up we get, you'll notice there are three strings. See? One, two, three. And, uh, and then from there on all the way up to the very top, they each have three strings. So, we got our strings. Um, then these little guys right here are called hammers. And that's what actually makes the sound or causes the sound to happen when you press a key. For instance, if I press middle C right here, that hammer flies forward, hits the string, and makes it uh, sound. Okay, so we have that. Now, we have another thing as well. These guys right down here with the little red stripe on them, those are called dampers. When I press a key, the hammer comes forward, hits the string, and it moves the damper away from the string. This allows the string to keep vibrating and making noise uh, for however long we hold the key down. I'm holding the key. As soon as I release the key, that damper is going to go back and hit the string and cause it to stop making noise. Just like that. All right, now we got other stuff going on too. What is this? All right. It's a big, long strip of felt, but what in the world is it for? Well, on some pianos, it, uh, what it does is when you press the middle pedal, down here, you just press the middle pedal, and it puts that felt in between the hammer and the strings, and it gives it a real quiet sound. Okay? And uh, that's what that does right there. Now. You might be wondering, what do the other pedals do? Well, we just tried out the middle pedal. What about this right pedal? This is called the damper pedal. Well, now, what does it do? Well, you remember earlier, I said these were called dampers. So, the damper pedal is attached to those. When I press the damper pedal, it moves all of the dampers away from the strings. Every single damper gets moved away from the string. And that allows me to press all kinds of keys. <laughs> still make noise because I'm holding the dampers away. Now as soon as I release the pedal, all the sound stops. And that's because the dampers went back onto the string. Okay, so that's the damper pedal. That's the right pedal. Every piano, the right pedal does the exact same thing. Now the middle pedal, very subjective. Not all pe um, pianos do the same. The left pedal, again, it has the same purpose on just about all pianos. It makes, the, um, makes it quieter, but the way it works is different. So. On an upright piano, the way of the left pedal works is it moves the hammers closer to the strings. This takes away some of the um, force or the space that the hammers t have to swing forward and hit the strings, and so they don't hit it quite as loud. So I press the left pedal, the soft pedal, and it moves all of the hammers just a little bit closer to get a nice quiet sound. Now, on a grand piano, or like the ones that you see in a concert, Hall, it actually moves the hammers to the side just a little bit. So when we have three strings, um, it, the hammers won't hit all three strings. They'll only hit two of the three strings. Down here, they'll only hit one of the three strings, and so on. And so that's what the left pedal does, is it makes it quiet. So we got the right pedal, moves the dampers. The middle pedal moves in this piano, moves the layer of felt. And the left pedal moves the hammers closer to the strings and makes it a little bit quieter. All right, now that's basically everything that's in here. Uh, I'll point out just a couple more things. These are the pegs that the strings atti attach to, and you can tune the piano using these pegs. And so, of course, you'd have three pegs for the majority of your notes. Um, just for interest, this little guy down here, that's just used to prop the lid up. And But that's pretty much about it. That's about everything that goes on 
inside the back of the piano. Now, of course, if you were to take all of this off, you'd be able to see the action. The action is what happens under here. When I press a key, it's all of the mechanisms that cause the hammers to move and all that fun stuff. So, anyways, basic general introduction to what's inside of a piano. Hope you enjoyed.